Hello and welcome back to my garage. Today we have the Skoda Fabia back. This is the first generation uh, Fabia. Uh, we already had this one in the shop for a couple of times. And yes, this is the car with that massive oil leak. And no, it is not in here for that massive oil leak. There were some complaints. One of the complaints was a couple of weeks ago that the car was squealing. And because we do know that it has that massive oil leak, and because of that, the multi-belt was gone. So I did replace it, but after a couple of days, she said that it was still squealing. And when it was squealing, it loses also power. Uh, that was of course very odd. So the first thing what I thought was maybe the uh, generator or the dynamo or the alternator that's the right word the alternator uh, was uh, maybe seizing up or uh, there are some bearings in there that were not 100 percent because squealing and power loss well most of the time it has something to do with that of course the, uh, the water pump could also be a, uh, a issue so she brought it here and that squealing what i heard was definitely not uh, from the multi belt I double checked it, I removed the multi belt, and the uh, squealing was still there. What we are going to do today is uh, let's see where that squealing is coming from and how we are going to fix it. But the first thing what I'm going to do, especially with some modern cars, yeah, this car is also quite old, but we hook it up to the scan tool and let's see if uh, it's screaming something at us. Uh, I already hooked up the scan tool. It is uh, in the knee that uh, glove box thing. You have to uh, push it a little bit and then you can get it out of there. So behind there, there is the OBD uh, tool. But first, I, of course, maybe I better can let you hear what that screaming is. Or squealing. Well, now it's on the bridge, I already noticed that uh, at least the exhaust is leaking. Yeah, that exhaust is definitely leaking. So let's see if I can uh, let it uh, squeal. There is also something loose in the exhaust. I do full power now. Well, that is a squealing. But now I'm hearing some rattling in the exhaust. And I do think to know what's happening. But let's uh, open the scan tool first. This car has uh, a little bit over 200,000 kilometers on the clock for the ones that want to know. Let's come a little closer. As you can see, it has a couple of misfires in the system. Um, that can be a little bit concerning. It's not the end of the world because I do think this has to do with because of with the problem of the car. But this is something we have to keep in mind. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some sensors. And because I do think what is going on, I'm going to live data let me start up uh, the car first but what i'm going to do is we're going to check um, the lambda sondes or the o2 sensors so what i'm going to do is uh, select those in my um, in my device so uh, oxygen sensor uh, bank one and Bank 2. As you can see, it is uh, putting out some numbers. 
and the car is of course uh, now uh, not on so let's turn on the car and I do think uh, I know the issue Uh, it restarted. <laughs> oh Don't be shy. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. I don't bite. Not yet. So, maybe we can now see something a little bit better. But as you can see, I have now two grass. And. As you can see, one is very lazy, and the other one is very happy. Do you see what's happening? The one at the bottom, it's squealing and it's not going anywhere anymore. So, what's happening is that that sensor is not reading anything or almost nothing. Oh, now it's back. That, of course, can mean two things. One, the oxygen sensor is uh, bad. That's one of uh, the things that you can see. If it's not uh, fluctuating as, uh, as right here, then you definitely know that uh, there's something wrong with that oxygen sensor. But in this case, I do believe we have a blockage. And what I do think is blocking it is the uh, catalyt catalytic converter. The innards are just uh, loose and rebelling all around. And that's all that rattle that we hear uh, a moment ago and uh, I do think uh, it is clogging up the exhaust and because it's clogging up the exhaust it of course the exhaust gas has to go somewhere so what I do think what's going on is that the or what I almost certain know is going on is because uh, the gases aren't going through the exhaust anymore so the lambda sonde at the front is still working fine at least uh, what I see but the one in the back is just uh, cutting up from uh, do you hear that um, so back to my story the second uh, oxygen sensor isn't getting uh, his information when it's yuling or uh, screaming or Squealing! That's the word. And um, that's because the uh, exhaust is leaking. What's happening is that the catalytic converter on the inside is just kaput. And because of that, it is blocking the exhaust gases going through the exhaust system. And because of that, it seeks the uh, path of least resistance. And of course, in this case, is probably some gasket somewhere. And I do think it is the uh, exhaust manifold gasket. Because one, I saw a bolt of a nut missing there. Do you see that stat? There's missing a bolt. Well, there is also it's, uh, and there is where the leak is coming from. So that's always a weak spot. And, um... To be honest, I do think I hear that leak of coming over there. And let's see if uh, the catalytic converter is... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> I hear a little bit of a rattle. Um, I do think it's uh, the catalytic converter. So, let's have a look. We are underneath the car right now. And uh, this is of course the catalytic converter. So let's uh, shake it up. <laughs> yeah, that thing is broken. Uh, 
Well, let's uh, contact the owner of the car and let's see uh, what we're going to do. Because there's a reason why these things are uh, stolen uh, a lot. And that's of course, these are not that cheap. So, uh, I will contact the owner and let's see uh, what we're going to do from there. Well, we have determined that the calette... 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 We have confirmed that the Calette... Calette... Catalysator... Catalytic Converter... Yeah... We have determined that the Catalytic... <laughs> the Catalytic Converter is... Uh, well broken and needs to be replaced uh, so I'm going to let you through what what is happening now and with of course the uh, how I brought it to well the owner of the car I said to the owner of the car um, the reason why it is whistling or whining or squealing is because there is the manifold gasket, the exhaust manifold gasket is leak and that needs to be replaced. That's one thing we do know for sure. Second thing is the catalytic, catalytic converter itself needs to be replaced. That is something we definitely know for sure. Maybe one of the oxygen sensors is not really happy. I doubt it needs to be replaced, but it is something we have to keep in mind because we cannot test that uh, easily without uh, repairing first that catalytic converter and of course the uh, exhaust gasket. So keep in mind that maybe we need to replace one of those O2 sensors. And also we have that misfire. The misfire is it probably caused by the ignition module and this is one giant unit so that maybe has to be replaced. Why I say maybe it is just because I don't know if the fault is triggered because it is misfiring because of a bad component like what I said the uh, uh, ignition module. But it could also be because the engine uh, doesn't get his, uh, the reading in the engine is wrong, the sensor is reading wrong. It goes into a, something like a self-protect modus and that is probably t uh, triggering the misfire. But that also I don't know without replacing first the catalytic converter and of course the gasket. I give her a base price. This is what a catalytic converter costs. This is uh, what a, a gasket costs. What do you want? And keep in mind that uh, an O2 sensor, because that front pipe is 250 euros, a um, original uh, O2 sensor, I only replace uh, sensors with original ones because of a hassle, uh, is about uh, 75, I believe. Then the um, the ignition module wasn't too expensive. I believe for somewhere around uh, 50 euros. You're really going to feel that in your uh, in your wallet. What you want to do? Well, we wait for a little bit, and uh, she called back and uh, decided to uh, not to do the repair. I highly advise her also not to do it because even if I do fix it, it is still leaking a lot of oil. And I do still think that it is a fire hazard. I'm still wondering why that thing uh, didn't burn down already. But, oh well, it is what it is. So she decided to not do the repair. So what now? I'm going to do nothing. Uh, I'm going to park the car outside and uh, let her handle with the rest. I do think it's going to the wrecker. At least that is what I think is going to happen. No a repair video, just an inspection video. If you have power loss uh, in your with your engine, and not, it's not only of course with a Skoda Fabia, but with all engines, and you cannot find what it is, well, maybe it is the catalytic converter that is just well um, choking your engine. 
I have shown you how I diagnose this. Um, you, so hopefully it's useful for, well, maybe you out there. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it or at least learned something from it. If you did, please give the like. If you want to follow me around, you know what to do. And I am getting this piece of trash out of my garage. Bye.